Good morning. I just got the uh, new table saw blade for the table saw I've been working on. This is a Craftsman. It's an older unit. So let's stand this up a little bit and show you guys what I'm doing here. We're going to replace the blade. So all you do is basically pop up your protective guard. You can use a piece of wood to lock the blade in place. You don't want to strip your nut, so make sure you have the right size. So we're going to lock our wood in place with this wood. I break it loose. What you should have is the nut. Yeah, you shouldn't have a bunch of spacers and everything else falling out of here. The blade is already going to have a spacer in it usually. This one you can see barely is the triangle one that's mounted in there. Now I have a half inch and this is 5 eighths. So I need a half inch so I'm going to need a spacer for my new blade. Um, this blade is still okay but I wanted to go with uh, the correct size and actually I haven't been able to find an 8 inch this is an 8 inch table saw so what I went with was uh, 8 and a quarter I checked the measurements and I figured that uh, there I went with an 8 and a quarter I got this from uh, Harbor Freight ordered it online it comes with a warranty it's lifetime carbide which I don't believe in the warranties. I'll end up sharpening this myself later on. Okay, little interruption with the daughter there. So anyway, this had a 5 8 arbor. And uh, I ordered the kit for all the spacers. And uh, believe it or not, they showed in stock and it was uh, back ordered. So shame on you Harbor Freight. If you say it's in stock, it ought to be in stock because um, now I'd have to go down to the store and buy one if I wanted to use this table saw today but I have a lot of stuff in my shop and I have one of these spacers it's just a small ring so now we're going to mount this in and all you do it goes in pretty tight let me show you. This one at least goes in really tight. I start on the edge and I'm just going to use a rubber mallet and tap it in. And there we go. It's in. Nice and firm. Check it on both sides. Make sure it's level. Okay. So now we have our spacer in there so we won't have any of the wobbliness. That's what would happen. Okay, now I said I, I had checked this. So I checked the distance here on the inside to make sure I could go an eighth inch bigger because that's what it would be, an eighth inch on either side. Uh, this is an eight inch table saw. I had to go with an eight and a quarter inch blade. Now when you're pushing your wood through, if these arrows had worn off already, you want the, the blade to be cutting on it. So check which way you're your centerpiece is rolling and it should go with the arrows as indicated but if these are worn off you need to know what's going to happen and you should be cutting downward if you were cutting upward it would pop the material up and out of place and you'd have a heck of a time cutting a piece of wood so now I'm nice and tight there's two ways for this to go on one has kind of a markings on it and I can see where the old one went that's the inside that'll go like this so let's put that on and I have already sprayed a little bit of this Teflon <coughs> I don't know if I like this stuff or not it's Teflon and 
it goes on wet but it dries so you can see it there and the only thing that will be left when you're done with this is the Teflon it's not oily or anything after you're done with it so I add a little of that so we're going to tighten up our blade I have the open rear end of my saw open so I can kind of cheat and go on the back side a lot of saws aren't that way now I can hang on to my pulley over here and tighten it up I'm just going to use a piece of wood make sure that we're you're better off using a wrench I'm using an adjustable one make sure that we're nice and snug on here more snug I want to show you guys what I was talking about. See the distance. I have plenty of room. Probably another uh, three eighths of an inch. This side I have plenty of room. The bottom's open, so it was just this area right here I was worried about. But I wanted a nice blade, carbide tip. This should last me uh, quite a long time for my shop use because I really don't cut a lot of wood on a daily basis. That's why I'm keeping this on, getting rid of my big one. I've cleaned the underside of this, sandblasted it. It's like brand new. pops in place, it's not loose, nothing's loose, now I'm ready to use it. If you have any questions or want to see more pictures, you can check my website out at www.americanpicker.org, americanpicker.org. That's about all I have for you guys for today. Be safe in the shop. Always make sure you unplug your unit before you do any of this. And just use common sense when working around power tools and you'll be fine.